we've got a new star system alpha 3.23 eptu patch just dropped and we're going straight into it this one the audience remains at wave two testing focus remains the same as the previous uh patches but uh for features and gameplay under the gameplay category they've increased visibility of quantum markers they've unified scanning and quantum ui they re-added the notification accept key input so that's the original one left and right brackets to accept and to decline respectively under ships and vehicles they did a polish pass on sub targeting and it says here improved sub target ordering from ships with docked ships and added weapons emp power plants and qeds they also did an interaction update for the star map um, it says single clicks to select marker and double click to focus marker left click empty space to minimize panel they also did an interior map polish pass it says hookup remaining control hints fixed section labels not flipping at the correct camera angle render layer material polish pass and used a lower velocity for vertical panning fixed control hint text sometimes disappearing and had clipping mask inside of a card slightly scaled down control hint widget size fixed legacy moby glass apps moving out of proportion to the other apps they also did an update on the try on ui for clothing shops they also did a master mode balance for the 600i they added set key binds for operator modes water interaction polish pass has also been done and uh, moby glass performance pass has also been done under cortex they did a volumetric cloud vfx update it says adjusted volumetric clouds very high settings for better visual results and performance with the recent improvements to half res atmosphere and cloud render mode we've been able to switch to this mode instead of rendering to full res has significantly increased number of ray margin steps for this setting resulting in a much improved visual while greatly decreasing the runtime cost on the gpu that's good they did a client performance improvement pass as well as they also limited upscaling options to guarantee a sensible minimum resolution they also made a particle performance and visual improvements while using upscaling for bug fixes there are a few they fixed an issue where hud elements are not visible flashing in and out of existence when the vehicle is in motion and i did notice this myself i noticed this specifically when i was using the um, vulcan vulcan option here so i'm glad to see that that's fixed they fix an issue where solar system wide armistice zone is keeping players from using their fps weapons that's really good because i didn't notice that yesterday new loot menu does not appear when looting that's i yes i did notice that i'm glad these are really good fixes um they fixed an issue where upscaling causes shop kiosk ui to become blurry they fix an issue where turrets do not aim at players they fix an issue where wake effects will sometimes stretch over a long distance when they activate this is for vfx uh, for water they fix an issue where you're unable to interact with list items such as a mission after dying so now this is for your mobile glass they fix an issue where ai at coverless distribution center cannot be killed they fix an issue where reload sound effects does not play or resume when the associated animation resumes they fix an issue where ui does not update automatically but updates once when untracking then tracking the contract again they also fix an issue where pit menu cannot be opened successfully all the time as expected they also fixed an issue where player home location at a station is not saved when logging off after a server recovery along with this is three client crashes eight server crashes and a client deadlock fix you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll catch you on the next video